Hello everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you're all staying safe and healthy. Now during this time, many of us are experiencing a lot of stress, tension, and anxiety in our bodies, in our minds. And one of the best ways that I find to combat anxiety and stress is by returning to my breath. So today I'm gonna to show you one of my favorite breathing exercises called Nadi Shodhana, or alternate nostril breathing. So today we'll come into a comfortable seat. You can feel free to sit in a chair or wherever feels most comfortable for you. You can also take a seat underneath a block or a bolster if you have, or a pillow for support. Just make sure that you can stay here comfortably for a few minutes. You'll allow your shoulders to fall away from your ears. You can allow your eyes to soften, or if it feels comfortable for you today, you might close your eyes. If it does not feel safe for you to close your eyes, you can also rest your focus on one unmoving point in front of you. Perhaps focusing your vision on something that brings you joy. You'll begin to tune into breath now. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. In through the nose. And out the mouth. As you continue to breathe deeply like this, notice the expansion of your belly and your rib cage as you inhale. The depression of your front body as you exhale. Notice how we've now cultivated awareness of our deep belly breathing. This will be a foundation for this breathing exercise, Nadi Shodhana. So for Nadi Shodhana, you will lift your right hand up. You can release your thumb finger and your pinky finger. So this is variation one. Your left palm just rests comfortably on your lap. Variation two with uh, the hat, with your right hand, you can release your ring finger so that your ring finger and pinky finger are released, your thumb is released, and your middle and index finger are pointing in towards the palm of your hand. So that's variation number two. Third variation, if you wish, you can simply rest your middle and index finger in between the space and in between your eyebrows. So that's just on your forehead here. Now in whatever variation that you have with your hands, you'll use your thumb to close out the right nostril. With your left pinky finger or the ring finger, you're gonna close out the left nostril. So again, you'll take your hand variation of choice. I personally find this to be the most comfortable for myself. So I'm gonna continue on like this. You're gonna close out the right nostril and then you'll inhale through the left nostril here. And then exhale out the right nostril, closing out the left nostril with my pinky here. Inhale through the right nostril and then exhale out the left nostril. Inhale through the left Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right nostril. Exhale through your left nostril. Inhale through the left. Exhale out right. So as you continue to breathe like this, keep your gaze soft or your eyes closed. using that deep belly breathing as you continue to inhale and exhale. Now 
Now you can use this practice for however long as you wish. I suggest something like 10 breaths to start and then increasing the length of time that you do it as you continue to practice. And you can play around with this alternate nostril breathing the longer that you practice by holding the breath at the top of your inhale and holding the breath as you empty out on the exhale. So if you're gonna try to hold the breath, it might look and sound something like this. So you can feel free to continue practicing this for however long as you like or however time, how much time allows. You can feel free to practice this breathing exercise at any point during your day. Whenever you're starting to feel a little bit stressed, I always like to incorporate this breathing exercise at the beginning of my yoga practice. Sometimes I incorporate it in my meditation practice as well. Or even if you just have one minute of your day to reconnect to yourself and your breath, wonderful. This is a great practice and hopefully by the end, it'll allow you to feel a little bit calmer, more relaxed and more in tune with the present moment. So I hope that you've enjoyed this breathing exercise that I've shared with you today. Stay tuned for more tips in yoga, more breathing exercises, and I wish you all health and happiness. Enjoy, namaste.